Hi there and welcome back to Fallout 3. I'm Baron. You better stay away. I don't want you to catch what I've got. And we have to take a goat somewhere. What's going on here? Get out of my way, you stupid tunnel snakes! I can show you a real tunnel snake, Amada. Oh, that's God, a bad Butch, one. What? Stupid tunnel snakes! Immature assholes, if you ask me. Why won't they leave me alone? It's not my fault my father's the overseer. I don't care about their stupid gang. Can you talk to them? Maybe Butch will listen to you. Please? Mm, Butch and his friends bothering you again? A bunch of idiots, if you ask me. They think they're so tough with their gang. All they ever do is hang around and cause trouble. They've got it in for me because my father is the overseer. Like, that's my fault. I'll see if I can talk some sense into them. Thanks. You've always been a good friend. Try talking to Butch. They'll all do whatever he says. Back okay. She's nothing. Yeah? What do you want? What's going on here? None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? If you keep messing with her, the overseer is going to come down on your gang. Maybe you're right. We can deal with her later. Butch, Back off. come on, tunnel snakes. This little bitch isn't worth our time. Whatever you say, Butch. Thanks for getting rid of them. <sighs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father is the overseer, I guess? Idiots. Okay. You're the boss. What tunnel do I snakes actually look like? Fine. Let's go. Okay. Hmm. Oh well. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Come on, I don't really have to take this stupid test, do I? Listen, I like your dad. I might even like you if I wasn't your teacher. So here's what I'm going to do. If you want to skip the test, just tell me how you want it to come out, and I'll take care of it for you. Cool. Let me see the results and I'll fill it out myself. Well... Alright. Here, take a look. Okay. So, we can pick three skills. Uh, if we pick one, we could then get an increase of 15 points. Well, the way I play the game, lockpick is important, medicine is to some degree important, repair is important, science is important, small guns is my weapon of choice, at least in the beginning of the game, and speech is important. But I only can pick three. So I'm gonna pick lockpick, I'm gonna pick repair, and I'm gonna pick science. Bingo. Done. That was fun. Right? Get out. <coughs> wake up! Come on, wake up! I'm out Come on! You've got to wake up! Huh? <laughs> How weird, I was just dreaming about you. Don't be a smart mouth! This is serious! My father's men are looking for you. They've already killed Jonas. You've got to get out of here! What? Jonas is dead? What the hell is going on? It's your dad. He's left the vault. My father thinks Jonas helped him escape. So he had his men. My god, they killed him! They just beat him and beat him and wouldn't stop. My god, are you okay? Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just sorry you had to find out like this. I know Jonas was your friend. But we've got to go now. My father's men will be here any minute. My dad can't have left. The door's sealed shut. Not anymore, apparently. But are you honestly telling me you had no idea your dad was leaving? He really didn't tell you? No, I had no idea he was planning to leave. Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm sure he had his reasons. Maybe Jonas was supposed to explain everything to you? But it doesn't matter. I can help you escape. I have my own plan. Escape the vault? How? Listen, there's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Hmm, sounds like a good plan. Let's get out of here. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. Thanks, Amada. I'll only use it as a last resort, I promise. Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. Good luck! 
Okay. So before we go, I'll we meet you at the vault door loot can, but don't wait for me. the place, of course. Baseball bat. I don't need a baseball glove. And equip the baseball bat, I guess. Okay. There he is. Hold it right there. What? Crime any more roaches. Oh shit. Holy smokes, that was close. Gotcha now. What he's hostile. Yeah, welcome to vault Tech Assisted Targeting System, or VATS. How about we bash this guy's head in? The Overseer's gonna hear about this! Boom, oh. oh, baby. What did we get? Uh, security armor and security helmet. Now we look like that. Okay, put it away. Gentlemen? Oh yeah, if you drink water, we heal ourselves. Sadly, uh, water outside of the uh, thing here, the, the vault will be radiated. And yeah. It will still heal us, but it will also increase our radiation, and if you have too much radiation, you die too, so... What? You gotta help me! My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches! Mm, Butch asking me for help. If only you knew what irony meant. Yeah, I'm asking you. So what? Look, I'm sorry for the way I've always treated you. You know I never meant any of it, right? But it's my mom. You can't leave her in there with the rat roaches. Hmm, all right, I'll help. But I'm doing this for your mom, not for you. Sure, I, I don't care why. Just get her out of there. Uh, yeah, her, her mom is not responsible, responsible for him being a dick. But then again, she probably is because she raised him. Nah, let's not help her. Ah, just kidding. So, Mr. Red Roach, you're going to get it. Wasn't very nice. Guess what? We managed. We did it! My mom's gonna be okay! You're the best friend I've ever had, man! Hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my tunnel snake's jacket. Go ahead, take it. I don't need your stupid this is the your stupid jacket. Oh, red road meat, yeah. It heals you, but also raises your radiation by two, if you eat that. Vodka. And more vodka. What's in here? Where did those things come from? I don't know where those things came from. Oh, again. Dino. Whoa, more red roaches. I guess we killed them. Grandma Taylor. Wow, for a grandma she has quite a bird. My grandma doesn't look like that. Reactor. Wait, was there something? No. Hold on, son. I just want to talk to you for a minute. Okay. Oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. I don't know what you're up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. Thanks, Officer Gomez. I always liked you. It's a real shame it's come to this. I can't believe what they did to Jonas. Officer Mack was just out of control. But you're a good kid. You didn't do anything to deserve this. Go find your dad if you can. OK. 
Okay, and the robot is having a barbecue here apparently. There's nothing for us to get in our old classroom. I'm afraid you've missed him. You're the one everybody's looking for, right? Well, it's none of my business. Your dad always took good care of us. Okay, what do we get here? Watch it, will you? Still can't pick it. Although I, I probably needed the higher agility if I wanted to pick that. <coughs> Although I chose lockpick. What's that? Nothing. I chose lockpicking as one of my favorite skills. So, let's go to the edge room then. It's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone stop us. Cool. It's me, Tom, Tom Holt. Be careful. Hey. Hey. Shit. No. What the fuck are you doing? Gonna hear about <laughs> this. No. Oh. Guess what happens now? At least Mary survived. Normally she buys the farm too. Couldn't save Tom though. What are you doing here, Mr. Red Roach? That one is empty. Come out and get some if you want some. Who are you? Lloyd Lewis. You appear to be dead. I don't need your conductor. Oh. I knew you'd turn up sooner. Security Chief Hannon. Or later. I don't know anything. Yeah, yeah. Officer Mac may enjoy this, but I don't. Come on, hit me. I know you want to. Doesn't work. Oh. The head has been crippled. And he is dead. Tell me where he is. So I can talk to him. Go ahead, officer. Do what your dad says, Amada. No, please don't! That'll do for now. Now then, are you ready to tell me where your friend has gone? There's no need. Your friend is just here. Stop in the name of the overseer. You like that? Looks like he bought the farm. I hope you're here to turn yourself in, young man. You're already in enough trouble as it is. Don't make it worse for yourself. If you ever lay a hand on a Amata again, I'll make you regret it. I place the good of the vault above everything, even my own paternal feelings. We must not allow sentiment to cloud our judgment. But I admire your protective instincts. Very well. I give you my word that Amata will not suffer further because of your actions. Now then, if you really care about Amata, you will see how dangerous your father's actions were. Hand over your weapons, and put an end to this dangerous situation. There is no need to join your father as a traitor to the vault. Just give me the keys to your office and your password and I'll be going. Oh, is that all? Is there anything else I can get you while you're here? You'll get nothing from me. I'll die before I see the safety of the vault compromised again. Hmm. I'll escape without your help then. I'm not the one who started killing people. Save your sanctimony. 
The world is a dangerous place and I make no apologies for doing whatever it takes to keep the vault safe. Guards, help me! There are no guards here. I disposed of all all of them. He's here. Don't let him get Oh, I don't want to lock the cell though. And some more ammo. There's nothing here. Oh, water. If you would now close the door, I would be trapped. But you're not smart enough. Guards, help! Overseer surface. Oh, there's more water here. from dad hold on Jonas I need to record this first I I don't really know how to tell you this I hope you'll understand but I know you might be angry I thought about it for a long time but in the end I decided it was best for you not to know so many things could have gone wrong and there's really no telling how the overseer will react when he finds out it's best if he can blame everything on me Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your own. Maybe someday things will change and we can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. God knows life in the vault isn't perfect, but at least you'll be safe. Just knowing that will be enough to keep me going. Don't mean to rush you, Doc, but I'd feel better if we got this over with. Okay, go ahead. Goodbye. I love you. I love you too, Dad. Thank you! I told you my father wasn't himself. I don't know what he might have done if you hadn't come along. You'd better get out of here. I'll try to meet you at the vault door. If I don't make it, good luck. Okay. So we could have opened the door with the key. But then again, I want the experience for picking the lock, and we wouldn't have gotten it. Now we have to hack the computer. Can't be this. Can't be this. Can't be this. Could be this. It's this, okay. So, view security dossiers, tunnel snakes. If Butch and his leather clad delinquents accost Amata one more time, they'll have to and they'll have more to deal with than their acerbic teacher. Their services have come in handy upon occasion, I must admit, but they're starting to become unruly. If dogs become feral, they must be put down. I'll have to remind Butch of that upon our next meeting. Just what Vault 101 needs, an absent-minded, sexually repressed psychopath. Beatrice has served Vault 101 admirably over the years, but her mind is growing feeble. I'll have to speak with our good doctor about some kind of long-term pharmaceutical solution. We may at least be able to keep her comfortable and quiet until she passes on. Jonas. I never should have assigned Jonas to James' assistant, as James' assistant. He was always too idealistic for his own good. Now he spends every waking minute with the good doctor, who gleefully fills his ears with even more idealistic nonsense. I've considered reassigning him, but the truth is Jonas is a fine medic in his own right, and hiding him down in the maintenance would be a terrible waste of resources. Jonas... wait, I already had that. Uh, Amata. Every time I try to get Amata to open up, she just pushes me further and further away. Since she was a child, I've tried to instill in her those virtues that have made this world what it is today. Loyalty, honesty, commitment, hard work. She does try and with a lot of guidance has grown into a fine young woman. That makes it all the sadder that she continues to alienate me. She looks at me and sees the overseer, not the father that has cared for her alone. Alone since she was an infant. View scouting reports. Report? Uh, what's that? 
the 10th of February of 2141. As our test suggested, the immediate vicinity of the world is no longer dangerously irradiated, although the background radiation is still well above safe levels. Pockets of more intense radiation appear to be still common and all surface water seems to be undrinkable. We will need to carry ample supplies of red eggs with us on all future surveys, but hazard suits do not seem to be necessary for general exploration. Our old maps are largely useless, the town of Springvale is an abandoned ruin and all pre-war roads have disappeared or are no longer passable. We've encountered a group of monstrous ants which appeared to confirm Mackay's theories of mutation due to extended exposure of radiation. We drove off the ants with gunfire and collected several specimens for our study upon return to the vault, see Exhibit A. The good news is that human civilization still survives, despite everything. We discovered a settlement known as Megaton, see Exhibit B, whose inhabitants, although somewhat very at first, soon welcomed us into their town. We spent a good deal of time in Megaton and learned a great deal about the capital wasteland, as the area around Washington DC is now called, from them. Megaton is a fortified outpost of civilization of sorts, but it seems the giant ants are the least of the dangers of this new world. We agreed that it was prudent to return to the world immediately to revise our survey plans in light of what have we have learned. Luce and Agnes remained in Megaton to serve as ambassadors and continue to collect information until we return. And Palmer, survey team leader, February the 10th of 2241. Exhibit A, a ant. Exhibit B, Megaton. Vault tech instructions. Letter from Dr. Stanislav Brown. A letter to the overseer from Dr. Stanislav Brown. If you are reading this, emergency vault interment procedures have been initiated and you and your control group have been sealed into your vault. Congratulations! You are now a vital part of the most ambitious program ever undertaken by Vault Tech. If you have not yet read your sealed orders, do so now. They will outline the experimental protocol assigned experimental protocol assigned to your control group. Please remember that deviation from these protocols in any way will jeopardize the success of the program and may be considered grounds for termination by Vault Tech Corporation, as outlined in the employment agreement. So you don't get fired, you get shot. <coughs> Your vault, tech, uh, your vault may or may not have been selected uh, to receive a GAC module. Please see attachment for details. Attachment A for details. Dr. Stanislas Brown, Director, Societal Preservation Program, Vault Tech Corporation. Attachment A. Vault 101 will not receive a GAC module and should operate under the guidelines laid forth in the overseer's sealed orders. I would love to read those though. Vault Tech Scientific Entry, the GAC. The GAC is quite simply the most advanced piece of technology ever developed by Vault Tank, a terraforming module capability of creating life from complete lifelessness. After riding out a storm of nuclear Armageddon in a Vault Tank patented vault, residents can then activate the GAC and create a new e ethan, no, earthen paradise. Craters and dust will give way to rolling grasslands and sparkling clear water. Of course, due to time and monetary constraints, not every ward will be equipped with a GAC module. Okay, let's open the Overseer's Tunnel. And that is actually the tunnel. That's empty. And here we would have gotten the password. But then um, we wouldn't have gotten the XP for hacking the terminal. So, this is how I do it. There's another red roach. Boom! Ah, uh, that, my friends, is the exit. He's opening the vault door! Get the overseer! We need this door open now! Oh my god! You actually opened it! You did it! You opened the door! My god, I almost didn't believe it was possible. I couldn't have done it without your help. No, you didn't need me. If anyone can survive out there, it's you. Why don't you come with me? It's tempting, but my place is here. The vault needs me more than you do. I'm the only one who has a chance to talk some sense into my father. Listen, if you do catch up with your dad, tell him I'm sorry for... 
For, you know, Jonas and, and my father and everything. Goodbye. Stop, okay. in the name of the overseer. No, not you. I would rather fight you. Yeah. Like that, the overseer won't tolerate this kind of behavior. This one is down, and you follow him. I said you follow him. I'm not going out. Gotcha now. Hold it right there. What? You're trying to run? Not working. Oh, we're encumbered now. That probably means we have to repair some items. That's enough. So, what do we get here? Scrap metal. Oh, and that leads back to the atrium. Wait, there are more? Red roaches? You're dead. You're not. And there's another one here. Like that, I'm gonna crack your casing. Don't blame me for your incompetence. Let's drink some more. This was the last not radiated water that we have drunken for like a very long time. to get here? I guess not. Oh, there's something. Stimpaks. Always welcome. Okay, I guess we leave now. Do you have anything to add? You've got to get out of here. Someone's sure to come see what's going on. Yeah, like two Take care. Like those two guys. And we can leave the vault. Um, we could change our character again if we want to. Oh, <laughs> he looks angry. Um, No, the nose is too long. Too pale. I think that's okay. I didn't like the beer too much. Okay, so let's get out of here. Dang it, that's bright. First time we ever see sunlight. 
scenic overlook. Mm -hmm. wow. And we made progress to level 2. We progressed to level 2. So yeah, we can spend 19 skill points of going to put them into repair. And we can pick a perk. I will go with intense training. With intense training perk you can put a single point into any of your special attributes. And I'm gonna raise agility. Thank you. Galaxy news radio signal found. Point lookout. A riverboat has docked at the mouth of the Potomac, carrying trade from the distant peninsula of Point Lookout. The captain offers passage to Point Lookout for any mercenary, treasure hunter, or adventurer looking to explore the new land. That's a DLC. It's decent. The pit. These. There are reports of a new radio message being broadcasted across the capital wasteland. The tra transmission appears to be some sort of distress call and gives little information except the location and name of the man making the plea. That's the pit, another DLC, the best one actually of the whole package. Spring Whale, and there's an iBot, an enclave iBot, I don't like those too much. Mothership Zeta, a new radio broadcast has been heard across the capital wasteland. While completely unintelligible, it sounds ominous. Broken Steel loaded. Broken Steel has been loaded, your level cap has been raised to 30. Broken Steel is, is a good ex, uh, DLC, but Mothership Zeta is shitty. Boom. I don't like those iBots too much. A new radio broadcast has been heard across the capital wasteland. It sounds like a distress call, but seems meant for certain ears only. And it's another DLC, I guess. And that sign points us in the direction of Megaton, somewhere in this direction. And we will go there in the next video. So, thank you very much for watching, and see you soon. Bye!